as you can see all these are alarm list for IG so all these alarms you have to test friends this is the part one so I'm going to test only few alarms uh, like uh, scrubber water level low scrubber water level high uh, water low flow in scrubber and Dexil low water level so in part two I'm going to show you other alarms how to test them so guys uh, this is our scrubber low water and this one is the low water and this top one is the high water level alarm sensor they works on the principle of magnetic inductive measuring principle so they works on the Faraday law and your uh, water is a conductor when it passes through the electrodes uh, induced voltage is uh, generated which is then uh, processed uh, using your microprocessor into a 420 milliamp output signal so in my next video I will be explaining about this float now we'll test it what you have to do you have to simply uh, turn down this switch you can see very small switches are there use a small screwdriver and turn it down and here you will receive alarm uh, on the panel I came in CCR to check um, whether these alarms are actually activated now what I will do I will make it normal so it's a simple thing you have to put it in normal so this one is the high water level so you have to put a max side for high water level and minimum side for low water level so like this you are going to make it normal and you can come back and reset the alarm so your alarm will be normal next is this is your uh, low flow scrubber water low flow alarm working principle for this alarm is also same so the testing procedure is a bit different it is given the manual what do you have to do the first tip switch which is in the down is for normal and test switch so you have to put in the test position and using the blue color potentiometer you have to turn it anti-clockwise uh, fully so that uh, your red color indication for alarm will get activated and it will give you alarm for scrubber low flow so like this you are going to test for scrubber low flow alarm so next is this Dexil low water level so what I do I went to the Dexil and I opened the cap and I saw only two wire connection for uh, power and I didn't see then I came to the cabinet and, and then I saw that there is a test switch so using this test switch you have to use, uh, test the Dexil water low so if you want to test the Dexil you have to come here inside the panel and you have to press you can use a pen also when you will press this you can see red light So guys, uh, like this you are going to test your Dexil alarm also. So we'll see you in the part 2 of inert gas alarm testing. Thank you for watching.